the threat from some northern leaders earlier this week of a likely reprisal attack on southerners residing in the north is already generating palpable fear among southerners living in Katsina state. Source informed, or sources rather, informed Daily Post that the threat is causing many of the southerners to now live in perpetual fear of being attacked by angry mob in the northern states. In a statement last Thursday, the governor of Zamfara State, Belu Matawale, throwing caution to the wind, warned that northerners may start seeking revenge on southerners living in the north. No community or region has the monopoly of violence. The north has more than what it takes to respond to what kind of aggression and hatred. Governor Belo Matawale was quoted to have said, in the same spirit, a seven member of the current Nigerian Senate, Senator Ahmed Baba Kaita, representing Katsina North Senatorial District, in a piece he titled, The North, when silence is no longer an option, warned of the looming danger to southerners living in the North. That the river is calm doesn't mean there are no crocodiles beneath. That the North is taking physical and verbal insults, stoically, and with dignified silence doesn't mean the North is either out of reprisal options, or is lacking in expertise in how to play the game the way it's crazily and irresponsibly been played, Senator Keita said. Daily Post reliably gathered from sources that the inciting statement from Governor Belo Matawale and his other co-travelers has led to countless calls from family and well-wishers who have people residing in the north to evacuate now before the situation gets out of hand. A lady who did her NYC in the north and stayed back to work in one of the northern states said before now due to activities of bandits and terrorists my family members have been on my neck to return to the south but i blatantly refuse but with this threat coming from a whole governor it seems i don't have a choice but to return to the south now another southerner said finally the time to leave the north for me has come. These northerners don't joke at all. When they say something, they don't just do it, they overdo it. He cited instances of when kidnapping became popular in the north. The kidnapping industry took a whole new dimension when they came into it full time. Nobody is safe anymore. They kidnap anything, whether rich or poor. But I won't leave the north. If they want to kill me, let them kill me. But I will send my family to the south as soon as school closes for holiday. Wherever a man is, when it's time to die, the man must die, another southerner said. Deep down inside, where we know as home now is the north, because this is where we reside and make a living. This is where we really feel at home. I only go to the south for ceremonies when it becomes mandatory. But if they say they will kill us, we have no choice than to run for our dear lives. But we are praying seriously for the government to find a solution to these problems so that we can feel free and live anywhere as one Nigeria, another southerner admits. However, several notable voices have dismissed the threat to life and properties of southerners living in the north from the Zamfara state governor and others. It is not justifiable to say that because northerners have been killed in the south, 
we are also going to kill southerners in the north. That is not correct. And the Arewa Consultative Forum is against it. That is the easiest way to destroy this country if everyone takes the law into their hands and decides to take revenge. We are completely against that. Arewa Consultative Forum said, we are not happy with the governor's statement. Such a statement should not have come from a leader holding the sensitive position of a state governor, said the chairman, Yoruba Council of Obas and Chiefs in Northern Nigeria, Alhaji Mohammed Aridba Buo. I am sure that he, the governor, Matawale, is just trying to gain the support of APC in order to win a second term in office. I am disappointed at the way the man spoke. The problem is that headsmen having issues with the local farmers and in the course of the clash, get, people get killed. Ohaneze Ndibu spokesman Alex Ubunaya said on his part. Nevertheless, the southerners based in the north are not taking the threat from Matawale lightly as some of them are already looking for alternative ways of uh, uh, alternative way out of the quagmire. One of the issues that generated this public outcry by Bel Governor Belo Matawale and others may not be too far fetched from the Sasha market crisis that occurred in the month of February. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story? As it were, Southerners are expressing fears and they are looking out to uh, leave the north and return back home to the south. Well, that is what is expected of them. You know, if you are not welcome in a particular place, you just have to uh, take your leave if you love your life. It is not a must that one must live in the north and it is not until you live and reside in the north or do business in the north before you make it. You know, that school of thought is not uh, to be subscribed to. I stand to be corrected. But be that as it were, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story as it were. Well, it is what it is, guys. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Well, drop by at the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. And they want to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.